Good evening to everybody, uh, my viewers, to my students. So we may go. We will go on to the next topic about uh, functions and roles, and including skills of a manager. So we have discussed last meeting, okay, last week, the, uh, the definition of management concept, okay, the effective, effective concepts and theories of management. And we learn a lot from those different theories. So each manager can be uh, become an effective manager by having a uh, uh, ghost nest, or uh, they, they can apply uh, the uh, theory by Elton Mayo, wherein uh, it can be, uh, they need to consider the uh, um, suggestions of those who are, are employees who are making complaints. So a manager should always consider uh, his employees in order for him to achieve his goals and objectives. Because if you will not consider your employees, of course, later on, the possibility for them to go out uh, resign in your company and look for other jobs. So for you as a manager, you, you need to check. You need to check here. Uh, there's something wrong in, in your business and uh, if that is valid, so you need to correct uh, to achieve your goal to become one of the best business later on in a particular area. Okay? And of course, it uh, experiences um, uh, uh, Frederick Taylor, the uh, Henry Fayol, okay, from experience of uh, Henry Fayol, and of course uh, the scientific management from Frederick Taylor. Okay, th those theories are very important for us. Now we may we will go on with the functions and roles. Uh, what are the things okay, that uh, this manager? Okay, uh, will be uh, in a particular uh, business. So what will be the rules and skills needed? Uh, so we need to also consider as a manager should be skilled also. You are capable in solving problems because you are also a skilled manager. Now we will discuss um, But before that, I will share my screen first. Okay. As you can see, okay. so before we go to, to our topic, we will have first okay, uh, a short uh, review quiz. Okay, short review quiz. Okay. Which term best describes the process of obtaining, deploying, and utilizing a variety of essential resources to contribute to an organization's success? may choose between the four aspects. It can be planning, organizing, staffing, or management. Okay, so we will choose among the four choices given. And another question, which management principle states that individual, each individual should report to only one boss in order to avoid conflict or confusion. So we have to choose between one, two, three, four division of command, chain of command, unity of direction, or unity of command. So which among the four will best fit with the question? Okay. So 
So function in management, functions of management, also the same with the functions in, uh, that is also considered as managerial functions or functions of managers. So we, we have uh, discussed that planning are concerned or uh, this will help the managers to look for or achieve the goals and objectives okay, of the organization. And in, in your module, okay, it is stated that these steps involve mapping out exactly how to achieve a particular goal. Okay, mapping out. So we have discussed that most business, okay, successful business, uh, they are thinking for a long term, okay, long term for their business to run. So when it comes to long term, they will also consider a uh, futuristic goal. So not only uh, goals for for a day, goals for a month, it can be goals for uh, a future for a futuristic goal. And then we can call, also call that as the vision, vision of the company. When it comes to vision, we have discussed that uh, one can be uh, a goal for a vision is uh, okay. the business okay, can be one of the successful business in a particular area to be realistic. So in order to map, you can also have your mission in order for you to achieve your vision. And then objectives, okay, objectives that uh, will help you to uh, do things, okay, de detailed things. Uh, for example, time bounded for a day. So objectives that will be done for a day. So these are the things that will guide the, the business. Okay, and will help the business to plan. So for example, the organization goal is to improve company sales. So a while ago, about uh, the totality of the business, become one of the uh, successful business in a particular area. But now, uh, as a manager, okay, you'll be assigned for a particular department. And then you are assigned in sales. So your goal will be concerned on sales. So the things that you will improve for sales. Okay. And then a uh, manager will check for the needs and then needs to decide which steps are necessary to accomplish that goal. So you need to have step by step, okay, like steps in order to achieve the goal. So as we have mentioned, uh, setting up the, the futuristic goal and then the role that you are doing, that will be your mission, and then goals that will be done per day and per week that will guide the, the business in order to achieve a futuristic goal. And, and the other one for organizing, okay, uh, okay, assigning work and granting authority. They are two important elements of organizing. So assigning work. So you have to create now jobs, works, okay, and then that will be filled out. Assigning work, you are already organizing. And the next step is uh, staffing. So you already have assigned uh, works or activities. Now you will fill in those that will be qualified for that job. So you are now applying the, the staffing. And in your, in your module, okay, decide to beef up this staffing by recruiting, selecting, training, and developing employees. So you also need to develop your employees. Yes, okay, uh, sometimes there will be difficulties in looking for a person that will fit a particular job. Why? Because if you will look for a best person that will fit a particular job, 
of course, they will be also looking for a higher salary. So if you will not uh, provide the salary required for them, the tendency for this staff not to pursue, not to go on, not to apply anymore in your company because they, they are not satisfied with the salary. Okay. So those are the, the challenges of human resource. In, in education, okay, there, there are okay, one, uh, some of the pro problems they are encountering in hiring. So they have very high qualification, but of course, this qualification, if you will compare that to the industry, okay, it will be equivalent okay, to a managerial. So comparing their salary as a manager, supervisor, with the salary in education, there will be some uh, doubts okay, for a particular uh, applicant to continue in education. Of course, if uh, the goal of the applicant is to really teach, so he can decide to follow his uh, dream to become a teacher instead of working in an industry. And then reading, reading is also important and based on, on your module, uh, you just do more than just plan, organize, and staff the team to achieve the goal. Okay. Uh, one, should, oh, one should also lead. In leading, it is also important that you will be motivating, communicating, guiding, and encouraging. Okay. So motivation is really very important. Uh, a certain employee will do more if he will be properly motivated, yeah, he will also have the initiative to do the activity. We have some experiences like that. Uh, younger, younger uh, applicants, uh, younger uh, employees, they, if you will be motivating them, properly motivated by a manager, they will do more. Sometimes they will stay longer hours, okay, without payment just to solve a particular problem because they are being challenged. So uh, if they are properly motivated, being led by the manager, so these employees will be, become very happy. Okay? So motivation will not be always uh, negative, negative motivation, but uh, the, a, a better Motivation will be positive motivation. A little tap at the back. Tap at the back can be a motivation for an employee. And then the other one, controlling. The elements are in place. A manager's job is not finished. He needs to continuously check results against goals and take any corrective actions necessary to make sure that the area's plans remain on track, okay? Need to control, and I mentioned in my previous video that uh, controlling also includes controlling of finances, money, okay? So you need to control money also because uh, in business, of course, profit, budgeting is also very essential, okay? Of course, man, uh, manpower you need to control, but other resources, okay, machine, machines, yeah, that will be okay if you will buy, but of course, it will have a lot of investment, okay, okay and then materials. So controlling is very, very important in management. Now, there are roles performed by managers. So what are these roles? The nature of managerial work by Henry Mansberg describes a set of 10 roles that the manager feels these roles fall into three categories. So 10 roles, but there are three, three categories. So let, let us see what are the, the, these three categories. So the first one is Informational, okay. 
information as when it comes to information as it involves sharing according to your module and analyzing information uh, sharing and analyzing information so these are the other roles become the monitor or disseminator and the spokesperson say monitor uh, the, the things the, the information from top going down and of course information will also uh, check the information outside okay what are the informations to the public when it comes to your uh, to the business and then uh, it involves receiving and sending information okay. so if you will become a spokesperson uh, spokesperson so you as a manager can be the spokesperson the, there will be questions about uh, the activity of the business you should be knowledgeable as the manager okay. and of course dissemination disseminator responsible for the synthesis information and forwarding of information to other members of the organization okay so other members of the organization it can be through meetings okay one thing that the, the manager uh, a very competitive manager a vice president has been hired by a company okay? but that vice president has been a successful vice president but there is already uh, okay each vice president the first thing that he did okay upon upon accepting the offer as a consultant had a meeting initiated a meeting to all of the subordinates and of course members of the production so what are the, the things he needs the, the, the plans uh, objectives and the possible changes that he will do okay. because he will be assigned okay, to correct some uh, uh, some problems in, in the company okay so those are the things information a manager should be doing and the other one is interpersonal when it comes to interpersonal uh, involves human interaction a figurehead okay you get a figurehead so who are you as a manager how do your employees look at you as a manager so that that will be uh, one thing a manager is very interested in. He, he knows uh, what is happening. He, he knows, although sometimes he is very strict as a manager, he will become very strict. But of course, you can be strict because of a purpose. Because of a purpose. You are very strict because, uh, of course, if your company will fail, all of the employees will also fail. All of, all of the employees will be affected. So, uh, yeah, they can see you as a strict uh, manager, but there will be a reason why you are very strict, why you need to check. Okay, it can be one of your figure. So, uh, and by having the interpersonal, you will also become a leader, a leader in every project. Uh, for a, for a business, there will be project. You will become the leader. You will lead, initiate, okay, and then uh, plan. So in interpersonal, there will there are responsibilities and tasks, and their objective, okay, getting things done through people. Okay, so as a leader, you need to get uh, these things done. If you have a deadline, you need to, uh, you as a leader will be the one to make a follow up. Okay. You'll be the one to assign person. And you can also be a liaison officer. Okay. 
uh, leader, liaison officer. So when it comes to liaison officer, those will be uh, dealing outside, okay, outside all of your company. So when it comes to customers uh, and then uh, suppliers, okay, now suppliers are really needed in a business. Some of the businesses they are asking that the, 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 the they are allowing suppliers to come in to give suggestions for improvement okay, of the process. So uh, those are the things can be done by a manager, their personal and decisional, of course. When it comes to decisional, uh, decision making is really uh, very one of the difficult uh, thing for a manager. For example, changing what is happening in an organization. Uh, so if we found out okay, that there is a problem, so what will you do if that the, the problem causing uh, the person that is causing the problem is one of your friends? Uh, decision should be rather than having your business go down you need as a manager to decide okay. initiate change and take an active part in deciding exactly what is done they are proactive okay so in decision making uh if you will be having a decision late Okay, uh, the problem uh, the, the company will also suffer. So in having a decision, be proactive. Okay, you know that there will be things that things will happen. So before it will happen, you as a manager should do some things, correct actions. Okay, if you found out that there is a problem in, in, in the company, you are, should be in charge to make a decision. If you will let others to decide for you, oh, so that will be a problem. Okay? That others will be the one to become the manager instead of you. Because you, that is your task as a manager to decide to say yes or say no. Okay? And uh, we have three, okay? three. Uh, management skills and the first one okay, the first uh, one is technical skills second one conceptual skills and the human or interpersonal skills okay uh, so we, we have uh, observe already we have discussed about roles now skills needed so in order for you to decide and uh, you should be having these three different skills with you okay uh, these are attributes or abilities attributes or abilities so a person, okay, a manager that is good in technical skills cannot be easily um, turned down. He okay, cannot be easily turned down because he's knowledgeable. Uh, he knows uh, how to move the company. He has the ability and knowledge for various techniques. If you have the technical skills, so it's not only operating machines and software, production tools, uh, pieces of equipment, but also skills needed to boost sales. Okay. Can make uh, your resources move. We design different types of products and services and market the services and products. Okay, so those are the, the things that uh, the technical skills is needed for a manager. But for conceptual skills, this involves the skills 
managers present in terms of the knowledge and ability for abstract thinking. Okay. Abstract thinking is a concept, it's about ideas. Okay. Ideas how to solve a problem. So you can create a concept. And then analyze and diagnose a problem, find creative solutions. So in conceptual skills, uh, those are the, the skills that managers should have in order for them to become a, a successful managers. And uh, predict hurdles in their department or business as a whole they face. Uh, if that it is one of the things a manager should have prediction uh, can predict it can be based on experience because you already have encountered those problems you know what will happen so sometimes a managers will be hired uh, one of the qualifications should be experience yes okay experience wise you already have those experiences on that particular year. Even though they will, you as a manager will be left for you uh, to handle that department. You can easily handle it because you already have the experiences. You know what to do. You know how to create concept. You know how to control. So conceptual skills uh, for managers really that you'll be a manager. Okay. If there are problems or so the employees are already going to strike, so you can devise or create create an idea on how to uh, convince them not to uh, uh, strike or not to continue their complaints. Okay. Uh, that's why you should be a good communicator also. And then human and interpersonal skills. Okay. Uh, when it comes to ability to interact, okay. concept related to human and interpersonal skills. So there are reasons. Okay. There are reasons why these employees are having complaints. By Elton Mayo, or if you have those ideas, okay, you need to look for the reasons why. Maybe they are complaining because of the environment. Your company, the your employees are suffering from stroke because the temperature is very high. So you can communicate with them. Yes, it can be. Uh, um, hurtful sometimes but of course for the sake of the employees for the sake of the business you can adjust your pride okay because you are also human there are also things for example an employee can be terminated but of course you have the human and interpersonal skills uh, you can just ask that person to resign rather than be terminated and have the record. Okay, so those are the things needed for, for roles, roles of the managers and skills. Okay, now we may go on with the let's apply. They modify true or false. You write true if. The statement is correct and false if the statement is wrong and provide the word or phrase that makes the statement true. So a manager represents the company internally, all matters of formality. Okay, that is only so keywords uh, internally. Okay, a manager serves as an intermediary and a linking pin in low, low levels only. Is that true or false? Low levels. 
As a monitor, the manager gathers all internal information that is relevant to the organization. Okay. Internal information. And a good manager must have the ability to tackle and solve the real problems that can arise in a typical workday. Workday. Okay, so it can be true or false. So you have to decide. As a disturbance handler, the manager will always uh, immediately respond to feasible events and operational breakdowns. Okay. So what will be your answer? Is it true or false? And in let's analyze, examine how do management functions, skills, roles help the company to become more progressive and can be essentials to run an organization well and achieve desired business objectives. So you may fill in okay, uh, activities here. Of course, in, in the module, there is an example. So you will uh, apply, okay, do, do not copy what is in the module. Okay, uh, apply it, connect your activities to the situation of our government, industry, schools, or at, even at home. So these are the functions, uh, monitor, disseminator, spokesperson, activities per role. So only one, okay? one in each item. Okay, up to negotiator. And let's evaluate. Let's get ourselves evaluated with managerial roles and functions of a manager. Okay, so this activity will let you assess the importance of each category of managerial roles in handling the problems that you may encounter soon, whether in the government, companies, or at home. It can be in the government, companies, or at home. So these are the activities. And let's get in which, uh, so this is, came from the, the module. Choose one type of management skills which you think very useful to our current situation. Using the star below, create your own explanations as to why this very important skill in times of crisis. Explain your answers in five sentences. Okay, so these are the things that can be uh, done. Okay. Let's get into so thank you for listening to this.